What's going on guys? In this video, we are in our Madden 22 training camp series. This is a series that I do every year. This series is designed to help you prepare for Madden 22. And I've got a great offensive tip for you. This is going to help save you a lot of frustration whenever you're trying to read ebooks and trying to decipher the code and understand what people are talking about when they're saying, you know, hot route the left slot receiver to a slant or hot route the right outside of screen wide receiver to a curl. We're going to teach you how to do that stuff today. We're going to teach you what that talks about, what that means, some of the terminology that you'll see. And I think this will help you a lot. This is kind of a basic overview of this. We're also going to give you some um, tips about like what each route will do uh, that I think is going to be very helpful. So we're going to go ahead and dive in. We're actually going to be using the New England Patriots playbook to show you this. I believe the New England Patriots playbook is going to be the best playbook in Madden 22. Um, I think it was honestly probably the best playbook in Madden 21, which is why we spent a ton of time diving into the New England playbook over the course of the last year. We actually wrote an, uh, an entire guide on it, breaking down every single formation in detail. And if you want to get that, I left that down in the description. Also, if you want to become a Patreon or a true fan, I really want to highlight that right now uh, just for a quick moment. And what that is, is basically every single week, we give you an update. We try to keep you as up to date on the latest things happening in the Madden community as possible. So we give you an offensive meta update, a defensive meta update. Sometimes it's a scheme, sometimes it's a tip, sometimes it's a concept, sometimes it's a route, sometimes it is an ability, something to help you improve on both sides of the ball. And they're really, really high level tips. These are taken really highly and most specifically from the competitive community because we also do every week a pro player film study where we actually break down a pro player's scheme uh, either their offense or their defense or their tactics and we kind of highlight it and talk about it so if you want to become a true fan it's for the people that are most committed to their madden game i would encourage you to do that you can sign up for just five bucks a month and it's in the description of this video without further ado let's dive into this and i absolutely love um absolutely love this because I think this, this is something that when I was first starting playing the game, something that I honestly really needed. Um, and so real quick, I just wanna go over coaching adjustments. Um, coaching adjustments you're gonna see here um, that you can do these different, um, you can do these different adjustments here. You see, so all I did was I went to coaching adjustments and you're gonna see, I can bring up this menu here and this is the number one coaching adjustments I would recommend. If you put your ball carrier on conservative, you'll see that the con is the ball carrier special moves are disabled except for except for um, like the dive animation and covering up the ball by hitting the RB button. Um, the reason this is good though is because as you can see the pro is that it protects the ball, it decreases the fumble chances. So nine, nine times out of 10, you wanna be playing on conservative. Now, if you're in a fourth and inch situation, you have to get the first down. I highly recommend going on aggressive. And the reason why is because you're gonna get a higher chance of triggering auto break tackles and you're gonna fight forward for more yardage. If you really don't care about fumbles, um, you might fumble once or twice a game, but you want to be able to juke and spin and do all that, then just leave it on balance. But I recommend conservative. Now, real quick, I want to talk about blocking. Um, if you take a look here, it's going to say that if I put my blocking on aggressive, it's going to hold blocks for longer for the run in the pass. The con is that it's going to increase the chance of a holding penalty. And by increase the chance of a holding penalty, I think it's actually very accurate. When I've tried to do this on aggressive, I almost always get holding penalties. So I don't like putting it on aggressive because I don't like... Um, those holding ponies. The one thing I will say though, as you can see here, um, if you put your block on a conservative, it doesn't really make a lot of sense either because you're gonna decrease the chance of the holding penalty, but you're never gonna get a holding penalty if you just leave it on balance. So I'd recommend just leaving that on balance. Intermediate pass catching, this is really important. So if I put this on aggressive, you're gonna see here that the pro is AI receivers will always attempt a rack or aggressive catch. The con is, and this is AI, this is computer, okay? This is the computer. Increase the chances of the ball being knocked out. What I like to do is put both of these on conservative. This is kind of my new move. Um, and the reason why is because this is when the AI does it. Um, so you'll see here that if it's a deep pass, this is always going to trigger a rack animation, which I think is really interesting. So if you throw the ball over the top of the, of the of the defense and you don't want to mess it up by clicking on or whatever, it's going to auto and attempt the rack. So I think this is a great feature. Obviously, you can click on to the player and do whatever you want. But as a base, I like to go on conservative for both of those. All right, without further ado, let's jump into this. So real quick, as you're going through your um, as you're going through your offense, you're going to notice that these three buttons at the bottom of the screen, I can um, hit the R1 button on your PlayStation. So that's the right 
bumper or the R1 button on your controller, you're going to see that it's going to allow me to sub players in. So as you can see here, I can scroll through and sub different players in. So for example, in this Trips Tight Inside, I want my best route runner and my Slotomatic guy on the inside slot, so I can put Chris Godwin in there with that little um, little, with that little feature. So I find this to be very useful just to sub the right players in at the right positions. The other thing is the packages. So if I flick the right joystick left and right, you're going to see that it's going to create different packages. And if you look at the players on the screen, you're going to notice that it's going to put different players in different positions. So you can mess around with that. Sometimes, like for example, out of this U-Trips one, one of the best ones is that you can put this fullback wing package in. So it's going to put your starting fullback at tight end. Um, so you can get a running back at tight end if you set your depth chart up right. So those are some things that you can do. Most eBooks will tell you, you know, what to do if you're going to do something like that. All right, so let's talk about like pre-snap adjustments, what you can do on the offensive side of the ball. What are the tools in your tool belt that you might not know about? Well, the first thing that you can do is you can set up your pass protection. So um, let's say, for example, someone is sending a five-man pressure at you out of the Mike Blitz 3, and let's just say that they're doing something along these lines. Well, what you're going to notice is if I don't do anything, you're going to see that chances are there's going to be some pressure that could come in. Um, but if I do if I do different adjustments, I can maybe put I can maybe limit the power of that blitz. So for example, if I if I see something like this right here and I want to try to pick this up, one of the things that I could do um, is if you look at this preplay menu, I can hit the L1 button and it's going to bring up my pass protection. Now you see here it's going to give me a couple different options. I can slide protect to the left. So if I think the blitz is going to come off the left, I can slide my entire offensive line to the left side of the screen just like that. I could also slide them to the right. So all I do is I just flick the right joystick to the right and you see they slide to the right. Um, the other thing that I can do here is you see if I flick up on the right joystick, I can max protect. Now, the one thing I will tell you about max protect is it is a little bit interesting. So um, if I max protect and I motion this receiver over, you're gonna see that you know it just is what it is. But if I motion this receiver back, you see it is what it is. But in some formations, and I think it's mostly like tight type sets, so something like this right here, if I were in this set right here, uh, I just want to show you what this looks like. So if I max protect, um, this is like a little bit of a secret little tip here. But basically, sometimes whenever you motion these players back, you'll see that it'll put them like that right there. You see how it puts them in a block? This is primarily like from um, cluster, gun cluster is a good example. This is a way that you can get some extra protection. So that's one good thing about max protect. The bad thing about max protect is it does mess up with the blocking of the AI. So what you always want to do is if you see that the max protector is going to block your um, tight end and your running back. So if you have a, if you have any any tight end, any running back that you have, this is going to block it. So for example, if you were in goal line, it would block everybody in the formation. Okay. So the reason I'm bringing this up is because what you can do, or what you want to do, is because your protection is going to be a little wonky you want to hot route these people to a block. So the way that you do that is you hit the um, you hit the triangle button. So you see hot route, and then I can hit the X icon to click on to Gronk. And then you see here I can hit the right trigger or R2, and it's going to pass block him. This is going to be a lot better blocking. Just trust me, it's kind of been something that's been known in Madden for a couple years now. This is really a more effective way to go about it. Another thing that you can do from this is you can ID the mic. Now, this is good for running and passing. So this works for both running and passing. You can slide, you can ID, you can double team, you can do all those things. So for example, if I know that I want to, the ID, the mic feature, we talked about this in Madden 22, or uh, not Madden 22, but Madden 20. So what I could do in this situation is I could slide to the left, and let's say I want to roll out to the right, but I want my running back to block a very specific person. I'm going to ID the mic. That's going to tell the running back who to block. So as you see right here, I'm going to ID this guy on the right. And then I'm going to double team this guy right here. So what it's going to basically ensure that this guy comes off the edge. So just to show this, I'm just going to mail out with Adams. And I just want you to see the running back and what this is going to do. See how it triggers that? So then I cut block and I can now roll out and throw on the run. That was a tactic that we learned in Madden 20 that was actually transferred over to Madden 22. And is very, very effective, especially in trip side in. Because you could go um, with a play like this PA, um, you could do this like PA uh, cross. And this is actually really good for this tactic. So let's say they're doing this right here. This is a popular uh, thing that you've been seeing a lot of people do. If I can, if I can get the tag on adjustment off, I don't know why it's not. For some reason, my adjustment's not registering. There we go. 
So this is kind of a popular adjustment, and I just want to go over. So if I were to do that, so you see here, I'm going to double team here, and then I'm going to ID this guy, and I'm going to block this guy right here and shrink the tight end. I want you to watch what happens. Set up, see the cuts blocks, and now I can roll out of the pocket. I think that's a huge tip, and I think it's very, very helpful um, for you guys to be able to pick up pressure. The other thing that's really cool about this is, again, I just want to go over this one more time. It's actually a really cool coaching point from Trip Tight End. If you want to be able to roll out, this is like a super, super fire tip, in my opinion. Because, I mean, it's something that we did last year, but people just don't do it this year. So, um, again, five, we got six people coming, and we're going to have a six-man protection. So what we're going to do, just like that, okay? So at the snap of the ball, you're going to see, I should get pressure off. Yep, you see that middle linebacker come through the A-gap? So that's the one little kind of caveat to this, is that if they send more, you know, if you double team and they send more people than you have, that could be a little bit of a problem. Now, let me show you one other thing that you can do. So the other thing that you can do from this is with your pass protection, why pass protection is so important is because it's really, really important to help you uh, pick up pressure. So if I, wanna, if I want to ID this outside guy here and I'm gonna slide backside, now I want, to, I want you to see what's gonna happen. Same thing, but it doesn't get that cut block because you don't use that double team mechanic. You can't get the cut block, unfortunately, at least not every time, okay? So that's a little bit about pass protection uh, and what you can do. Um, one other little pro tip. So let me just show you this real quick. So um, this happens to me all the time. So if, let's say they go to Mike Blitz 3, and let's just say that they send pressure. And let's say they send that pressure that we were just showing you where they, they basically um, do that right there, okay? And I just want to watch, I just want to show you this really quickly. So if I um, put the running back on a block and release route, I just want you to watch what he does. You see here he's going to stay in a block. But the problem is it's not exactly super consistent that that occurs. In fact, let's say that they send a pressure like this. Let's say that they send pressure off of this opposite side where maybe they do you know, something like that. The pressure's more loaded up to the left side. So now if I block the running back, I just want to show you what happens. He actually stayed in a block pretty well that time. But I will tell you there are times where this doesn't work properly. So one little trick that you can use with your running back, if you ever want to keep your running back in a little bit longer and help your pass protection with those block and release routes, whether it be a, a block and release route like the angle route from curl flat or one that you actually hot route to, then what you can do is you can ID the person that you want the running back to block. So what I can do is I could go in and I could do basically this right here. You see I put him on the block and release. Now what I'm going to do is you see I'm going to ID the mic, and if that guy blitzes, you'll see the running back will stay in stays in now I can roll out okay and then he releases once the once the um, you know his clock had gone off one little other thing I want to show is this right here so let's say for example um, that I'm gonna blitz this mic right down the middle so if I ID let me put the back on the route and I'm gonna ID him I just want I'm gonna use the defense I just want you to watch the running back you're gonna see he's gonna stay in a block but then once that guy releases he's gonna the back is also gonna release this is also a good tactic because most people, the way they like to blitz in Madden is they like to uh, send pressure off of the side with the back, but they like to put their user on a blitz to kind of occupy some linemen. So this is a way that you can kind of trick them out, I guess, because if the middle line, you're now technically responsible for the mic. So for example, if let's say that I send pressure like this, um, just like this right here, uh, and then you're gonna see that I'm gonna ID the mic at the snap of the ball, Snap the ball, go. You see that as soon as he drops back, they, they let him go, okay? And so that's a nice little way that you can kind of, um, you know, still have protection from the user rush, but also still be able to get a route on the field if you want to. So that's just a little advanced tactic with that. Now the next thing I want to do, so we talked a little bit about pass protection. Um, honestly, one of my favorite tactics also is to slide away from the running back. So for example, let's say I do something like this and you're gonna get a six man pressure. Well, what I like to do is I'm just gonna simply slide away. So you're gonna see here, I'm gonna ID this linebacker and then I'm gonna slide my defensive line to the left, just like this right here. This is what we get. And again, I wanna make sure that I'm, I, you always wanna ID the last thing. That's the last thing you wanna do. So you see, I ID, slide away, ID, and we pick up a seven man pressure and have a great time to be, or a six man pressure and be able to throw the ball against the opponent. So that's a really good little tactic. Now, um, another little trick that you can do uh, is with your delay fade from a pass protection perspective. We've talked about this, you might have heard about this, but
But this is a really good tactic specifically for rolling out of the pocket. So let's say, for example, I put the tight end on a delay fade and I block the running back. Well, you're going to see here that what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the running back to block this backside guy because I want the tight end to block the most outside guy. So I'm going to double team. So I flick the red joystick down and then I'm just going to move it to whoever I want. You see, I put it on that linebacker. And now what's going to happen is that double team is going to happen. And now I can roll out at the snap of the ball and have plenty of space to be able to hit this crosser. So those are a little bit of tips with blocking. The next thing I want to talk about is the route. So how do you hot route? What are the receivers called? And um, in Madden, it's a little bit different than in re real life. Honestly, I just say left outside of screen receiver, left outside slot receiver, left inside slot receiver. So you see here in this formation, we have an outside receiver to the left, an outside slot receiver to the left, which is brown. And we have a, um, a slot or inside slot, which is uh, Godwin. Now, if I were to motion this guy, um, then now I would have a right of screen outside receiver. I'd have a right of screen tight end. I'd have a right of screen halfback or a halfback. I'd have a left of screen outside receiver and a left of screen slot receiver. Okay, so you see how that works. Now, to motion, all I'm doing is, and if you take a look here, you're going to see, you don't see this in the menu, but what you want to do is you just want to hit circle, and then you can, like, hold circle and hit the left d-pad to kind of angle whoever you want so once i get on a player then i can motion him so i can either motion him sometimes i can motion him to the left which will create some hidden motions but most of the time you can just motion him back across just like this and this is a very popular tactic from trips tight end just motioning receivers um, just to create mismatches and things like that so that's how you motion snap um, basically what I mean by motion snap too, this is something that Madden has kind of honestly messed up a little bit this year. But if I wanted to motion snap Brown to the right and snap right here, then I just hit hike right there by hitting the X button. And as you can see, we're able to roll. Okay. So um, the last thing that I want to talk about, um, well, uh, the other thing is we can show our play art. So you can always show your play art by hitting, holding left trigger and flicking the right joystick up to show you what you've got. Um, if you want to see your opponent's X factors, just hold the right trigger. If you hit up on the right joystick, if you're online and mutt, then you can see their abilities and regs. You can't see that. Um, you just have to know that. So, um, one other little pro tip in practice mode is if I, um, like if, if basically if I hold both of my triggers and I click both joysticks in, um, you'll see it's going to allow me to move the ball. So I can respot the ball. That's just a little pro tip right there. Something I picked up this season that I'll think that I'm sure will transfer over to next year. And then um, the last thing that I want to talk about is hot routes. So how do you hot route? If I say the hot route, um, what does that mean? Well, th what that means is you're going to hit the triangle button or the Y button on Xbox. And then you're going to click the icon of the receiver that you want to hot route. So if you want to hot route Mike Evans, you're going to hit square. Now you're going to see that it's going to bring up this route tree that we could do. We could put Mike Evans on a total of 8, 12, um, uh, 14, 15 different routes. 15 different routes. And actually, technically, we could put Mike Evans on uh, 28 different routes if you count smart routes for that. So, you know, you could put him on a lot of routes is what I'm getting at. So um, you see here that if I say hot route Mike Evans to a streak, well, I'm going to hit triangle, I'm going to hit square, and then I'm going to hit up on the left joystick, as you see right here, that's going to tell me to put him on a streak. If I say put Mike Ev or put the left of screen inside slot receiver on a zig route, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit triangle, I'm going to hit circle because that's the left inside slot, and then I'm going to flick the right joystick to the left, and you see that's going to put him on a zig route. So these are little things that you can do. Another really cool tool this year in Madden 21 is the... Um, a new way to do smart routes. So most of you guys are familiar with what smart routing is. Basically, if I were to put Mike Evans on a in route, so I hit triangle square and then flick the left joystick to an in route. If I wanted to go to 10 yards um, or to wherever the first down marker is, then all I have to do is hit triangle square R1 and you see that that smart routes him to 10 yards. In Madden 21, there's certain routes and it's just varies formation to formation. But there's certain routes where that's actually going to have the opposite effect. Gronkowski's route is one of those. So as you can see here, he's on a 10-yard corner route. Now, if I hit triangle, 
X, R1, you're gonna see that that 10 yard corner route goes down to a five yard corner route, and it creates this basically slam out that we can do, which is one of the most effective routes in Madden 21. The same is true for something like this route that Godwin is on. As you can see, I can hit smart route it, and now that 10 yard post becomes a five yard post, and it just allows it more space to run, and as you can see, we're able to get it open on the sideline, okay? So that's how you smart route, that's how you motion. One of the other things that you can do, and this is a specific tactic out of Gun Bunch, is, is, is very specific to Gun Bunch. Not every formation does this. But let's say that I wanted to put the solo receiver on the bunch side on a post, but you'll see here that if I hot route him to a post, it's a skinny post, right, if I have Hot Route Master. Well, what you can do if you have Hot Route Master is I could put the circle receiver on a post, and then I could flip the play. And as you see right here, now I have a skinny post on the left and I have a post on the right. This is going to allow you to create all kinds of different route combinations that you can use to be very effective in this game. As you can see right here, I can now run a traditional flood concept. I can basically create the old Z spot play or the pat sail play pretty much exclusively from all my hot routes here. And as you see, this can make Gun Bunch a pain in the neck to defend just with the simple combination right here that you're gonna see absolutely work the defense over. So mess around with the flipping of the routes. For example, um, and, and trips tied in is not a great example because of when because when you motion out of trips tied in, it's not going to um, it's not going to be as effective. And I'll show you that. So so for example, let's say I tried to put a circle on a post, thinking that when I flip it, he's going to go. You see, he's just going to stay where he's at. Okay, so that's just something to be aware of, um, and just something that we're not going to re not really a good look for the offense. But certain formations, it is a very valuable tool, Gun Bunch being one of them. So never underestimate the power of flipping your play. The other thing is how to audible. So if I wanna, let's say I come out in this and I wanna audible down, all I gotta do is hit the square button. And then as you see here, I'm just hitting the D-pad to the right or to the left, and I can scroll through different formations. So if I think this is a good look to run the ball on, I can audible down here to single back trips, and then I can play maker the run by hitting the right joystick to the right or to the left. You see, if I hit it to the left, it's going to play make of the run to the left. If I play make of the right, it's going to play make of the run to the right. And now I can be in a running set, even though I'm actually in a trips tight end offense. So this allows you a lot of power and a lot of flexibility on your offense to be able to do different things with different routes. So that is pretty much it as far as hot routes. Um, we didn't get too much into the actual hot route routes. Um, you see here, I can put him on a, just trust me. I mean, you just want to try out all these routes. Um, another thing is you want to try out the smart routed versions of these routes. For example, the stop and go route, one of the things we discovered this year is whenever we motion this across, if we put this on a smart route, you're going to see that if they're in man-to-man -man coverage, you're going to have inside position in which you can maybe try to get a user catch. Sometimes they'll just flat out beat it over the top. So that is something as well that you can learn. But all in all, guys, this is... Um, this has been a kind of a base tutorial on offense. One other little thing is if you put your player on a, a, a hot routed post, you'll see here when I motion across, you see how he's gonna flip? He's not gonna stay on that post. So I feel like that is a really, really important thing to know because then you can really leverage the power of these motioned over posts over the top. Another thing that you can do that I didn't talk yet about from trips tied in is let's say for example that I wanted to put the circle receiver on a skinny post. Maybe I wanted to run a corner and I want to run a skinny post concept. Well, I can motion him to the right, put him on a skinny post, and then I can actually motion him back across and snap the ball right in here. And now I've got him on a really, really nice, deep vertical post route that could be very effective against cover three. So those are all little tactics that you can use to create an offense. Um, never underestimate the power of motion snapping. Motion snapping is one of the most uh, advanced tactics in my opinion, because you can basically turn post routes into corner routes and that is going to allow you a lot of versatility and a lot of innovation on the offensive side of the ball. Try all your routes, try all your motion snaps, try all your hot routes, try smart routing your routes. Lab, get in the lab, learn how to do it. It's a lot of fun once you get it all and start putting it all together. You're gonna to be a great offensive player, I know it. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you have any questions, feel free to text me. My number is 208-218-6900.